good morning. Industrial Accident Prevention Association Health and Safety Canada Trade Show 2008. Mark Chick is here with me now from a company called Advanced Motion and Controls Limited. Okay, so we're talking about keeping people safe. What is this right here? What you're looking at are a bunch of machine control safety devices. And as an example, you would see a, uh, a light curtain here. And this light curtain is creating an invisible beam. And as you can see, we have green, which means it's a safe environment. And if you were to break your hand into an unsafe area, it will indicate red. That same signal would be used by the machine controller to actually indicate to the uh, work process something's wrong. Something's wrong. There's That's some correct. machines in there, and there you, you be, don't want to go through this area. You don't area. want to go through there. Sometimes you could go through the area, and there'd be a green light, and that would say it's safe to go through that That's area. That's correct. That would be called muting in technical terms, and essentially what we want to do is get the rhythm between the worker and the machine happening such that there's a prescribed set of situations that we know someone's going to load a part into a dangerous area and then remove their hands, and in that case, from that moment, if you break the beam anywhere... You can see it indicates red. Okay, Mark, sometimes I walk around and I'm completely in a daze and I'm not really, I don't pay attention to things. Yeah. And I would just walk right through. I'm not going to look at the lights, red, right. green. I'm just going to go right through. So right. What, what are you going to do for me? Okay, well, if I saw you doing that, I might actually take a safety pull switch and pull it before you made it there because I recognize that you were actually disoriented at the time. That same red button, that's good. that same red light that's signaling would mm -hmm. signal the machine and stop everything from rolling. So, so now I'm really in trouble because I now I've stopped the machines from rolling. That's right. But I'm still walking in there. Isn't there like, you know, I might hear something. You well, know? there are I, different types of signals that we could use. For instance, we might want to use a visual LED or we might even want to create That's going to stop That's me. That's it. And if you don't understand that, maybe we even have <laughs> I a I might not. I might well, not. You never what know. Else? We got one here that... Emergency stop. That'd okay. be Jennifer stopping. Jennifer, stop. That's going to work for me. Okay, one more thing. Show yeah. me this on the computer here. This is a very elaborate uh, safety controller, and what's happening is we're scanning the whole area, and as you can see right now, the graphic representation is our bodies, and as we come closer to the scanner, that little bit of red that you see, mm -hmm. that's again signaling that we have an unsafe condition. So, so this might be in a different area, in a control room, and yeah. you're looking at this and going, okay, we've got Jennifer in an unsafe area yet again. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That'll typically be in a robotic work cell, and okay. then it's in a prescribed set of areas. So it's uh, used for a variety of reasons, and it's always working. Okay, we could use this at City TV, I think. We're going to head back to the station and uh, have, a, have a safe and happy day. Thank you. Thank you.